Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I've got a couple of different things to show today. I've got a couple of online auction wins, and also I went to an antique mall, and then I also hit up a comic convention yesterday. So I'm going to start off here with the um, online auction that I won uh, from the local comic shop. Every week they do a couple of auctions, and I ended up getting a couple of lots. So the first lot here is um, just a couple of random... Uh, J. Scott Campbell covers on some Dynamite issues. This is Sheena, Queen of the Jungle, number one. And then um, Dijah Thoris, number one, with a J. Scott Campbell cover. And then a Red, Son Red Sonia, number 11, with just another nice cover. They, it was in a lot together, so they were uh, $5 a piece. So I also want another lot of just miscellaneous books from the Bronze Age. And it's all Marvel's. So I end up getting uh, Tower of Shadows number six. So this lot here, um, they ended up costing a dollar or ended up cost, yeah, a dollar 25 cents maybe. Uh, so that one was in there. Adventure into Fear number 17 with the man thing. That's the first appearance of Wondar. Uh, there was a Supernatural Thrillers with the Living Mummy in it in this lot, uh, number 11. A Red Sonia number eight. Um, a couple of uh, Nova issues, number three, featuring the first appearance of Diamond Head. And then number 10 was in there. And then a uh, random Marvel premiere issue featuring Man Wolf uh, with some classic uh, George Perez artwork in there. A uh, Invaders number 37, guest starring the Liberty Legion. Uh, an issue of Defenders, number 65. Um, Machine Man, number 16. And a Fantastic Four, number 293. So, for a dollar and a quarter, it's, you know, that's not too bad. And they're all in pretty decent shape. So, um, those were my auction wins from the local shop that they do uh, on, online. The next thing I'm going to show is I went to the Antique Mall on Saturday and I picked up a bunch of books. The um, booth had a sign that was everything was 25% off. So these were about, uh, um, I think it was, I figured out it was like 85 cents a piece for these. The first one I picked up was the Flintstones number one from DC Comics. Um, there's a bunch of different covers for this book. This is, I picked this that cover up for that. This one looked interesting. Um, a female version of Robin Hood from uh, Zeoscope or Zenoscope. Uh, this I like this cover of Vampirilla and Red Sonia number one. Uh, this is a variant edition cover of Phoenix Resurrection number one. And again, you know, roughly about 85 cents a piece for these. Uh, Panther number one is a really nice cover. Uh, this one, I'm not sure what this is, but I picked it up. It's a Extinction Agenda number one um, from Marvel. There was a Batgirl number 50. This I think this is a variant cover, uh, like sketch variant or something. Uh, this one is nice. It's the uh, Year of a, Year of the Villain. Um, variant cover of Superman 13, Adam Hughes doing uh, Lois Lane. Then I also picked up a Blue Beetle number one from DC. Um, another variant cover of The Monsters Unleashed number four. <clears throat> uh, then I got the Legion of Monsters limited series number four featuring Elsa Bloodstone there on the cover. Then this one, I couldn't find number one, but I bought the other ones that they had. So this is a, some, a mini series, I believe, from Marvel. Uh, Atlas, I found issue number two. And then number three and number four. And again, like I'm not a big speculator. So I don't, when I buy stuff, I usually buy it because I'm interested in it. So, I mean, there's some stuff that I do know it's um, got a first appearance or whatever. But a lot of this stuff that I'm going to show you today is just stuff that I really caught my eye that I was interested in buying and reading. Um... This one, I picked up the Justice League of America, the um, movie homage to the Exorcist cover that they did when they did a bunch of those comics with uh, movie covers. 
Uh, then I just picked up this one. It was it had Pepe Le Pew on it since there's a big talk about Pepe Le Pew, so he was on my mind. Uh, Red Sonia number zero with a Greg Land cover. I picked this one, that one up, and then this was a free comic book day Street Fighter issue that I picked up. They had a dollar on it, I think. Um, all, all new, all different Avengers free comic book day. Uh, and then this, these two spawns, I picked up a couple of spawns at his booth. He had spawn number 97. I guess that's, um, just a really nice cover, uh, Angela cover by Craig, Greg Capullo and, uh, Todd McFarlane, which is, it's really sharp. And then also there was this, um, variant, virgin variant of spawn 298 with his homage to Amazing Spider-Man 298, which I thought was really cool. And then Storm and Gambit. Curse of the Mutants one shot number one and then I picked up this preacher special edition too so that was at the antique mall <clears throat> I got those all uh, basically for like 85 cents a piece so uh, it looks like a lot of good reading there so then I went to a comic book show uh, yesterday on Sunday and the first booth I went that I came across there some, the guy had some magazines, and I don't usually see magazines at the convention lately. So um, he had a big box of magazines. I said, how much are those? And he says, oh, they're $5. So um, I picked up this one, this old Mad Magazine from 1977 featuring the $6 million man and the Bionic Woman. And then I also picked up a couple of these magazines. I used to get these at, at, at school all the time when I was growing up. They had He had a Dynamite magazine with a Six Million Dollar Man on the cover. <clears throat> and he also had the Dynamite magazine with Lindsay Wagner or the Bionic Woman on the cover. So um, I was really happy to pick those back up again because I had them back in the day, but um, I used to cut them all up and post paste pictures up on the wall and make scrapbook pages and stuff. So... The guy said when um, Lee Majors and Lindsay Wagner were here at the Motor City Comic Con a few years back, he brought those to sell so that people would buy them to have them get signed, but then nobody bought them. So um, I was really happy to pick them up because, I, like I said, I used to have those back in the day when I was growing up. And if you ever follow my Instagram, <clears throat> um, easy as can be, I always post a lot of stuff about Six Million Dollar Man and Bionic Women because those were two of my favorite shows growing up. Um, so then I went to another booth, and this guy had <clears throat> a bunch of $5 boxes, and it was $5 a piece or 3 for 10 So I ended up buying this Spider Woman number 37, which is the first appearance of um, Banshee's Daughter. And then I also got number 38, which is the second second part of that story. And then this one I had never seen before. I just thought it was really a cool looking cover because it really looks like the old mag black and white magazines from Marvel back in the 70s. Rampage and Wolverine number one. So those were $10 for those three. Then I ended up getting uh, Young Avengers number seven and number 11. And this copy of Comic Reader number 193 from 1981 because uh, I never come across those very often either at a convention. So this guy had them. It was three for ten. So I got those for ten dollars or three dollars and thirty three cents a piece. Then he had <clears throat> these books together in a pack. He had the Avengers Origins of Ant Man and the Wasp, and then the Ant Avengers Origins of Vision. So I bought that one, and then I picked up these both. And he had them both in the five dollar box. I think he thinks I think he thought they were both reprints, but I didn't notice until I got home that they weren't. But I got uh Star Wars number two, the reprint, um, for three dollars and thirty-three cents. And then I also got an original Star Wars number two for three dollars and thirty-three cents, because they were three for ten. Then he had a uh, bunch of two dollar boxes. So I ended up picking up some Captain Actions that I needed to complete the run. I need one more now. So I got Captain Action number three and Captain Action number four. These are in really nice shape. <clears throat> and then he had a couple of Champions issues that I needed. So I picked up Champions number two from Marvel from the 70s. And I also got Champions number 10. So I only have a few more left of those to get. And then... Um, I picked up this issue of Joker number three for 
So I'm going to try and complete that run too because I finally ordered, I finally um, bought a Joker number one that's on its way here in the mail. So I'm going to try and complete that run. Then I went to another booth and this guy had books for a dollar. So I ended up getting this Immortal Hulk, the Threshing Place variant edition for a dollar. And Captain Marvel number 16, which is a Legacy 150 issue for a dollar, which is a really nice cover. He had this one in there for a dollar. It was the second printing of Amazing Spider-Man um, number 55 that everybody loves the cover. I have the original cover, so this is the second print. I picked that up for a dollar. And then I also picked up this oddball. I don't even know what this is. I never saw it before. But it's Cops the Job. He had number one and number two. So I bought both of those for a dollar. So uh, that was the, another booth that I went to. So then the last booth I went to, the guy is there all the time. He's got all kinds, he always has uh, all kinds of boxes and everything's always 50 cents. So they just bought a big collection the night before and they didn't even go through it. So, um, I just started going through the boxes and picking out stuff that I wanted to buy. So I ended up getting, um, these books. So they were 50 cents a piece, but I ended up getting like 58 or 59 and they still only, they only charged me $25. So it was less than 50 cents a piece for all these books, but they're all bagged, but just no boards. So I got Nova number one, the Eric Larson series that he did back in the day from 1999. So I ended up getting number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. And number six. He didn't have number seven, so I'm going to have to track down number seven. That's the one with um, <clears throat> Venom on the cover. That way, and it's also the last issue of that this series. So uh, I'm going to have to track that one down. I ended up buying this. I never saw this one before. It looked interesting. Strange Tales, The Dark Corners, number one. It's got a Morbius story in there and Cloak and Dagger and a Gargoyle story. Um, I got... The Avengers, the initiative, number one, and number two, <clears throat> for less than 50 cents. Um, the new Avengers, number six. The new Avengers, number 40. I think that's the first appearance of uh, some scroll lady that might be in the next Miss Mar or Captain Marvel movie. I'm not positive. Um, Brat Pack, number one. Um, the Wild Wild West number three. I have number one with the Adam Hughes cover. I think there's four issues of this, so I've got uh, to pick up number two and number four, and then I have that completed. This is another oddball thing that just was a really cool cover, so I picked it up from Blackthorn Comics. It's called Dan Dance. Um, mature readers only, please. <laughs> um, I got the... Uh, Avengers number two, the Heroic Age, uh, this mini, I don't know what this is, how many parts, I forgot to look it up, <coughs> but um, Druid number one and number two from Marvel, look pretty interesting. Um, here's another Atlas series, I don't know. Um, how many parts there was, I forgot to look it up, but they, this is number four and number five of the series of Agents of Atlas, so um, I have to track down the other ones of those, but they had pr pretty cool covers, and like I said, they ended up, they're less than 50 cents, so I'm not going to complain about it, and uh, hopefully the pieces, parts I'm missing, I won't have to spend an arm and a leg to complete the series, so there's some of those. And then I got this one, Paradise Prelude, uh, Herald's 3 of 3, just to look really interesting again. Um, I think that's an Alex Ross cover. Citizen V and the Battalion, number one from the Thunderbolts. Baron Zemo as a superhero. This is cool. I never saw this before either. Uh, 
an homage to the Superman versus Spider-Man comic from back in the day. It's Promethea versus uh, Tom Strong. Um, I got the first issue of Doc Sampson's miniseries for Marvel Edge from the 90s. Um, I picked up the issues of the NOM where the Punisher shows up. I got Punisher Invades the NOM number 52 and number 53 of that storyline. <clears throat> I picked these up. This is going to probably be a hard, uh, costly series, but I found the Hood number three and number two of six. So I'm going to have to pick up the other issue, other parts of that series. Um, this one I just picked up for the heck of it. It looked like an interesting cover. Oh, here's some more Heroic Age uh, of the Avengers. Here's number three with Kang on the cover. And then number four with an old-looking Tony Stark. I saw cartoonist Kayfabe do a whole uh, video on this book. So once I saw it, I had to pick this up. I'm pretty sure I probably had this before, but I don't know. Doom Force number one, it's a takeoff, a DC takeoff on early Image Comics. Their, inter their uh, video was really entertaining. So I, I once I saw that, I'm like, oh, I got to pick that up. Then I got the Ant-Man and the Wasp. I got number one. And number two of the mini series, I still need to find number three. They didn't have it in his he didn't have it in his box um, at the convention. Then I always, whenever I see this, I pick this up. I don't know why. I think maybe if the Black Widow movie ever comes out, this might may be a thing. But um, Soviet Super Soldiers number one, um, super special. I always, whenever I see that, I mean, it's like less than a, a dollar. I, I usually pick that up. Um, here's another one shot I got. Siege featuring Captain America, number one. Um, Daughters of the Dragon, first issue. Um, this is another one. I don't know really what this is, but I thought it was a cool looking cover. And an interesting premise, Black Canary Wedding Planner. So, you know, for roughly about 46 or 47 cents, um, I'd give it a try. And then Fantastic Four 511, this is the one where they uh, do a little tribute to Jack Kirby in there. Uh, Secret Wars from the Files of Nick Fury, Special Edition, number one. Got that. And then I got a couple of zombie covers here. I end up getting um, Black Panther, number 28, the initiative storyline with the zombie cover. And then Secret Invasion, The Mighty Avengers, number 12, with a zombie cover. Or no, that's a scroll cover, excuse me. <clears throat> then, I don't know what this is, but um, it looked interesting. <laughs> Conspiracy number one from Marvel. Um, a classic Kalec and Dinosaurs from Kitchen Sink Press, number one. Um, they, cartoonist Key Fabe did a whole... Uh, video on that series too so I picked that one up then this is another uh, mini series that I really don't know too much about but he had all the parts there so I picked them up um, it's the mystery men from Marvel here's number one so the and this was in the he sold they so they sold these together so number one and number two and then number Three, and number four, and then number five. So, again, not too sure about what that is all about, but it looked pretty interesting, so I picked it up. Um, Air Maiden Special, number one, from Eclipse from back in the day. This one, Countdown to Mystery, number one, featuring Dr. Fate. That looked pretty interesting. I picked that one up. Um, oh, I can change these out. Just a few more left. But, I mean, I got a lot of good books here for a great price. Uh, Valkyrie miniseries, I didn't even know what they did from, um, 1997. Um, this one I had, uh, and, but, and I used to love this. I, I, it's hard to believe that Star, the Star-Lord magazine it's a reprint of some of his early stories, but it's hard to believe. Like I used to think that costume was so cool. And then to think that, you know, like now 
Peter Quill in the in the movies just wears a trench coat and his uh, mask thing. But I used to really think this was awesome. And then here's a here's the back cover. But um, so I got that one. And another holiday special I didn't have from 1993, a Marvel holiday special. Um, then Fallen Sons, the, or Fallen Sons, the Death of Captain America, the Wolverine version, and Fallen Sun, the Death of Captain America, the Iron Man version. And then uh, a random issue of Next Wave, Agents of Hate, number nine. I would love to pick those up too. Um, then a, or, a Secret Origins uh, from DC that I needed to complete my or to complete my run of those. Um, this is another one that looked pretty cool. It's a it's a limited series. He had number one and number two <clears throat> of uh, Band of Heroes, the All Winter Squad. So here, there's the cover for number one, and then there's the cover for number two. So it looks pretty cool. I'm gonna have to try and track down the other parts of that story, and then a. Uh, Defenders of the Earth from Star Comics, number three. I think I, there's only a few issues of those. I have number one, so I'm going to try and complete the run of that. And then the last thing I picked up was this superhero stamp album. Um, book number three, featuring um, 1920 to 29. I had no idea. I always see number one, and I have a couple of issues of, or versions of number one of this. But I didn't know, did not know that there was ten volumes of that. So me working for the Postal Service, I'm going to have to try and track those down because I would think that would be kind of interesting to uh, look over and um, have in my collection. So that's my haul. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, I have more stuff to show, but I went and skipped what I was going to show to do my convention stuff and the stuff I got this past week to um, get it out of the way. And uh, hopefully everybody's having luck out there shopping and finding good deals like I, I've been finding and um, everybody's staying safe and healthy and I uh, if you haven't subscribed please do so and if you like the video please give me a thumbs up because I'm trying to you know get that algorithm up there and I'm trying to get as more and more subscribers and I really appreciate everybody watching the videos and I'm trying to do them as much as I can because uh, the, you know, the more you do the more you can get people to watch them but other than that, uh, again, hope everybody has uh, uh, enjoyed the video, and I will see you soon. Thanks. Bye.